Uh, California Fish Grill, we're a fast casual uh, seafood restaurant and uh, we're based in California and that's where most of our restaurants are. We've expanded into Nevada and Arizona and we've announced plans uh, to move out to the Mid-Atlantic area. So we're looking at DC and uh, Virginia and Maryland and we're really excited to bring uh, quality seafood that's sourced in a sustainable way and served deliciously uh, with great hospitality. I've always believed in uh, personalization and customization in our marketing campaigns, but for so long we had nothing more than an email address. And so it was often just, uh, uh, you know, blast, it blast the, the offer to the entire database. We don't really know anything uh, behavioral about uh, these, these customers. Maybe we have a name and a birthday, but not too much about uh, uh, what the relationship with us is as a customer. And uh, how that has changed uh, has really just, uh, you know, just opened all the possibilities in terms of triggers and automations uh, around CRM. I've, uh, I've, I've uh, used Olo from the early days, uh, and uh, you know, at first it was you know, simply a platform that got us into uh, online ordering and uh, made it more convenient for our guests. But the way the tech stack has evolved and for how it's fit, uh, the life stage that California Fish Grill is in now is, uh, is, is ideal because we're getting information that is, uh, is helping us understand more and more about uh, who our guest is, what their relationship with us is. And uh, we've been resistant to the idea of uh, bringing in a traditional loyalty program. There's a tremendous amount of cost, uh, a, a, a considerable amount of effort we have to put even our most loyal customers through to, uh, to be uh, engaged in a loyalty program. And we think we've got uh, a, a huge amount of data and profiling on our guests that, uh, that we can predict where their needs are uh, through Engage and uh, through the other tools that we've deployed with it uh, in a way that we can profile and be very smart in the way we market to them. At California Fish Girl, we're focused on using our, our marketing and our database uh, and all the data that we're learning about our customers in the smartest way possible. We know that our, our guests' time is, uh, is precious. Uh, they're inundated with offers and the more uh, specific we can be, uh, the more segmented we can be in uh, putting that offer in front of them that is going to be relevant. Uh, we know we're going to get a better response and keep them in our database longer and ultimately get a, a longer lifetime value from them. If only we could avoid having to uh, uh, deploy a full-fledged loyalty program that has uh, all of the uh, accrued costs of points and uh, 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 prizes down the line that uh, can be very expensive. Uh, and offers that uh, may be unnecessary. We don't always have to discount. We're, we're, we're not a discount brand. We see ourselves uh, offering value in the portion and hospitality and the delicious quality food that we put on the plate. So if we can avoid uh, kind of the gimmicks and bells and whistles of uh, tiered and point-based loyalty programs and just predict our guests' needs through uh, understanding their behavior and their relationship with us, uh, you know, we think that that's really uh, what, we're, what we're focused on. Uh, you know, some of the, the, the most uh, successful loyalty programs are only covering 10 or 15% of purchases. At California Fish Grill, about 70% of our orders uh, are captured digitally, either through kiosk, online order, or through third party. And uh, we're collecting all that data through Engage and know more about our customers and their behavior and their relationship to us uh, than any loyalty program could ever reveal. What that does as a marketer for us is it tells us more about what that relationship is uh, uh, to the guest and uh, what trigger points uh, we can deploy to, uh, to, to keep them with us and build their lifetime value uh, and, uh, and avoid them lapsing out of California Fish Grill. Uh, that's uh, critical, right? We want to keep them current and uh, keep them coming back more and more. 
We've set goals, we've, we've segmented our database uh, in a way that, uh, that we have goals uh, based on their predictive lifetime value and uh, their existing relationship with us in the time so far that they've been uh, opted into our programs. And uh, that, that helps us uh, know how to, uh, what their journey is with us from you know, enticing them, engaging them, and then creating that demand to come into California Fish Grill more and more. So at California Fish Grill, one of the ways we've uh, deployed Engage is uh, our post-purchase survey. This is a way that we're collecting information about uh, the guest's visit to give us some, some basic uh, attributes of what, what their satisfaction was and an NPS score. And this has changed the culture at California Fish Grill and the way our operators think about how the business is running. We know now that if we're not in the 50 to 60 point NPS, that it wasn't a good day and it wasn't a good week and we need to do better because that's the, that's the, the, the threshold and the standard that we're setting for ourselves so that we continue to uh, bring customers back to us over and over again. At California Fish Grill, we enjoy the, the visibility that we get through Engage, particularly around uh, the, the guest experience. So it crosses over from marketing into our operations and into our finance team. We're looking uh, not only at uh, the number of uh, opt-ins and email opens, but uh, our NPS score and our predicted lifetime value and uh, the, the visibility that, that gives the organization, we're all now talking uh, the same language uh, about our, our customer base. Engage has given us visibility into things like the number of different California fish grills uh, a customer might uh, visit over time. Uh, we never knew uh, how, how much it crosses over uh, from our uh, Long Beach location to our Downey location, for instance, and uh, now we can see that. And we know that the segment that uh, has the highest lifetime value is visiting more than one location. And they're eating uh, more than one protein uh, off of our menu. And uh, we, we, we recognize that this might be an opportunity to win people into that high value segment by getting them to try more proteins or visit uh, additional locations. Now, from a marketing perspective, having the full suite of Olo Tech in place has helped us uh, afford more contact with our guests. Uh, Engage is a, a fabulous platform that gives us uh, access uh, for automated emails and triggers that are segmented and appropriately targeted. And that's allowed us to keep our marketing expense uh, to a minimum. We don't have to go out and uh, advertise to win new customers in because we're keeping more customers in our ecosystem and improving their lifetime value. It absolutely helps us manage our resources in a smarter fashion and uh, avoids having to spend more money uh, in, in other places to, to win customers in. We've got a, a huge uh, a database of customers that we can tap into to bring them back more frequently, improve their spend, and uh, keep them in the brand uh, in, in, in current status. Well, at California Fish Grill, we think that uh, hospitality is key to winning the guest's heart and winning and improving their lifetime value with us. And more and more uh, these days, uh, the, the, the digital order process, uh, you know, by and large, can be very impersonal. So as we learn more and build a bigger profile about our customers' behavior, what they ordered with us last, uh, what their favorite items are over time, we can be more personal and we can truly get to that uh, holy grail of hospitality at scale. I don't think we're there yet, but uh, we're working toward it and we're collecting the information and building the profiles that, uh, that will be enabled across all of the technologies. Hospitality at scale, uh, the, the, the challenges that we face, uh, not only uh, um, from the, the aspect of our employees engaging with, uh, with our, our guests, but it's our technology and how our guests engage with technology. So to truly reach hospitality at scale, the technology has to be intuitive and personal 
and we're getting closer and closer to that uh, every year with the tech stack that we have uh, at California Fish Grill. California Fish Girl loves about Olo, and we've uh, we're, we're all in with Olo. We have the full tech stack. Uh, is that always innovating, always looking for what's next, and uh, truly aligns with our goal for hospitality at scale. And uh, now with Engage, we're getting more and more behavioral information about our guests. That's enabling more triggers and automation to segmented audiences uh, to get to that idea of one-to-one -one communication that's personalized and motivating. I've been a fan of Olo since I first uh, started talking with the team back, I don't know, maybe 2013 or so and became a customer in 2016. And uh, over the, the, the time uh, where the tech stack has evolved uh, as a marketer, it's, it's helped me in my job uh, more and more. And I, I've recommended Olo since the day I became a customer and uh, still do today.